Hello. Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see you today. We hope you're all really enjoying your holiday. We've been quite lucky because there's been some sunshine. So it's been nice to get outside and enjoy the sunshine. And I hope it stays that way, but I can see some dark clouds yeah, today. Yeah, I think the rain is coming. Yeah, but that's okay. We might still go outside in the rain, put our wellies on, have a splash around in some puddles. <laughs> Why not? Um, today, we're moving on from our fairy tales and we're going to do some stories about space. Always wanted to go to space. Fly in a rocket. Land on the moon, eat some cheese. Wow, it would be very cool to see Earth from, from space. It would, mm -hmm. it would. Um, and it's one of my favourite authors. It's a man called Oliver Jeffers, who's written lots and lots of lovely books. This one about space, another one about a boy who eats books. Oh, I didn't realise that was him. Yeah, really, really fun stories. But before I read this, we need to sing our good morning song. So get ready. To say good morning to all of your friends. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do? How do you do, Miss Martin? I'm good. I'm having a happy holiday. Lovely. The way back home. I'll let you read. I'm going to sit here and watch you. Okay, by the Oliver way. Jeffers. There are no voices in this one. No, never mind. You could, you can still make your voice interesting. Once there was a boy. And one day, as he was putting his things back in the cupboard, he found an aeroplane. He didn't remember leaving it in there, but he thought he'd take it out for a go, right away. How exciting. The plane lifted off the ground and up into the sky. Higher and higher and higher. Suddenly, the plane spluttered. It had run out of petrol. Now the boy was stuck on the moon. What was he to do? He was all alone and afraid, and soon his torch began to go out. That's what the moon looks like this week. Mm. Up in space, someone else was in trouble too. His engine had broken down, and steering the ship towards a flicker of light, he landed on the moon with a bump. Who's that? Well, let's have a good close look at this person. Ah. Oh, this thing. <laughs> Both the boy and the Martian could hear noises in the dark, and both feared the worst. But as their eyes got used to the dark, they both realised they'd met someone else in trouble. They weren't alone anymore. The boy showed the Martian his empty petrol tank, and the Martian showed the boy his broken engine. Together, they thought of ways to fix their machines and how to get them both back home. They're drawing a plan no, there. Always good to draw a plan. The boy jumped down to earth to get the things they would need right down into the sea and swam towards home. The way back home! But by the time he got there, the boy was tired out. So he sat in his favourite chair just to catch his breath. His favourite programme was just starting and he settled down to watch. Oh no! Suddenly he remembered what he should be doing and rushed off to the cupboard to get what he needed. He ran outside and shouted, but there was no reply. He couldn't be heard. 
The boy climbed to higher ground, called again, and waited. This time, a rope was lowered. The boy began to climb, and the Martian began to pull, and soon the boy was back on the moon. The boy fixed up the Martian's engine with the right spanner, and the Martian filled the boy's petrol tank. They said goodbye and thanked each other for their help. They wondered if they'd ever meet again. After a long night, they were both finally off the moon. The boy went one way and the Martian went another, both on their way back home. Here, a strange delivery has arrived for the boy. Hello? Hello? I wonder who it could be. A really lovely story all about space. And at the moment, when the weather's been nice, if you look up at night, you can see lots and lots of stars. It's really, yeah, really nice right. to I like see. Yeah, that's the picture here. With all the stars and the moon. That's the one that gave us the inspiration for our song, isn't it? It really is. It really is. We have chosen a song about space, about stars, about one star in particular. Oh, ready? Ready when you are. It's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so get your stars ready. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are lovely song that was nice i'm sure lots of people were joining in at home because that's a very well-known song another space story on thursday i've got to find it Yes, go for it's it. a very silly space story on Thursday about aliens and about underpants. Uh, I'm going to check I've got it now. Otherwise, I've, you'll have to find it at school. I've already got my exercise, exercise kit on, so if you want to join me at 11.45, then I will still be doing an exercise live today and on Thursday. Singing assembly tomorrow. Mm. And then another story and another song on Thursday. Yeah. If, if we don't see you on Class Dojo, we'll see you all very soon for more story and song. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you soon. Have a good holiday.